it's me, Troy from Troy's Movies, and uh, today's episode is about, guess, it starts with a C, and it's in an oppa, it's a big nuisance for creators, it's called Papa, everybody, and uh, I'm, this is a very, very cheery and happy video but it's for 13 and up just so you know FTC so um yeah this is actually a pretty cheery video because I found the I, I, I only found the key to I found the key in the last video to get Kaba away from creators and you know what? YouTube actually agrees with us on this. Now, I know it might sound crazy, like, how could YouTube, who's been trying to get us away from actually where we want to be? Uh, something weird back there. Um, <coughs> is trying to, like, help us on this, but, like, I was baffled too. In the description of this video, I'm going to put a little post that they put. Uh, it's a little, um, a reply to a creator who, um, asked if their content was, um, made for kids or not made for kids. Um, so, the reply is, and I quote, general audience content is intended for 13 and up, so if you create content that is targeted to a general audience, you can set your audience as not made for kids. A video isn't necessarily made for kids just because it's safe or appropriate for everyone to watch. Like, that was like gold coming out of YouTube's mouth. That was like glory. Like, I could not believe they would do something like that for us. Like, I mean, I thought they should. I thought they should do something like that, but I mean, like, look in the thumbnail. You'll see the actual post. Like, go in the description, click on that link. There will be the post. Um, the regulations.gov comments were uh, removed, so you can't do that. But I don't think you'll need to because uh, of how easy the situation is to ease out of thanks to that post. Um, <coughs> so, uh, but we're going to go in sections just like we did. So, uh, now to some new stuff. So, um, basically, um, all the, some like info, new facts. So, basically, all the stuff. All the prior cases that they've had, the FTC's had, they um, made it so it's always cut and dry. And I'm pretty sure I talked about this last episode too, but um, <sighs> this is a refresher. Um, they only want cut and dry. This is violating the law. This is not cases. So, like, like they want to know, like, they've got to have hard evidence, like, to find you. So, um, yeah, those in the middle cases, you know, you're fine. You probably won't get fined. You still can. Keep that in mind. You still can. But you probably won't. So, that's a relief for a lot of creators. Also, um, <clears throat> keep in mind that, um, The uh, YouTube is an uh, ever-expanding platform, so, I mean, maybe later on, like, a very, I mean, so expansive. I mean, we might, like, later on get a general audience option, or maybe YouTube will just set the entire YouTube platform I made for a uh, general audience. But, sadly, that hasn't come yet, but it probably will, um... And you know what? 
I actually enjoy how we found a solution to this right before uh, January 2020 when uh, it actually all starts. So, if you make general audience program, you're in that uh, middle ground I talked about last episode, or I guess as the FTC calls it, the middle ground. Um, set it as not made for kids, you'll keep all that amazing uh, features, personalized ads, comments, all that jazz. And, um, yeah, you won't, you most likely won't get fined. So, um, yeah, that's good. That's amazing for creators, um, like me. But there is, like, probably a couple, like, clarifications I had to make for the last episode. First of all, the music wasn't consistent. Yeah, I try to make my end screen music different than my um, the normal music for the episode. So that's why I just didn't dub it in from YouTube's audio library is because I like to have different tracks playing when the end screen is going so it just sounds jazzy and nice and not repetitive. And now, uh, <clears throat> another comment is, um, like, another question I'm sure people will ask soon. They haven't been. I'm sure people will ask soon. Is um, this COPPA thing is just like a joke? It's not right. It's not like an actual deal people deal with. I'm sorry to inform you, but it actually is a deal that lots of people have to co cope with. Cope COPPA. <laughs> but um, <coughs> they do deal with it. We found this area, the gray area uh, from last episode, and of course uh, YouTube has also, because there are like millions of videos out there now. Um, so, so, yeah, um, if you guys are as excited as I am about the fact that we cracked Kappa, finally, this will probably be the last video in the series, smash a like down below. Um, Click that subscribe button, ring the bell, and, um, uh, my merch, and, uh, follow me on my new Patreon for only five dollars a month. You can get, uh, an exclusive tier, uh, with your YouTube username, the end card, uh, early access to certain videos if you're subscribed, and, uh, Patreon exclusive updates. Um, and, uh, higher tiers have even better and cooler rewards, like, uh, higher voting power than on YouTube or Instagram, 24-7 real-time chat rooms, semi-annual semi thank you video, automatic entry into give giveaways, monthly newsletter, that's probably gonna start January 1st, 2020, and if you buy, uh, before the new year, uh, before January 1st, you will also receive a personal shout-out on YouTube on my video. So, um, if you want to have some amazing uh, Patreon action on there, some exclusive updates, some uh, cool stuff, then uh, make sure to buy my Patreon, uh, buy my merch, and we will see you guys next time! Bye!